What is happening in Sudan and why is the UK being criticised? As the war in Sudan continues to escalate, nations have intensified their efforts to evacuate diplomats residing in the city of Khartoum. Since fighting broke out on April 15th, the death toll has risen to over 400 and thousands of others have been wounded. As many nations have begun the risky task of evacuating civilians, the UK announced on Sunday they had flown diplomats out of Sudan. But many have criticised the government's lack of action to save those stuck in conflict, since the Foreign Secretary James Cleverly warned that help will remain severely limited until a ceasefire is reached. And we will continue on our diplomatic effort to bring this conflict to a swift conclusion because until that happens, we are severely limited in our ability to provide assistance to British nationals. Over a thousand EU citizens were evacuated from Sudan over the weekend, including French, German, Italian and Spanish nationals. Germany sent three planes to Sudan to evacuate 313 people, rescuing their own citizens and those from other countries. Alicia Kearns, Conservative MP and Chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee said, we have to think about the context they find themselves. People are terrified. Across the world, there's a very limited amount of evacuation going on because of the complexities on the ground.